what's up so today's gonna be a little talky talky and i'm sorry about that um but i do have some clips and videos of feather because i actually just got back from the barn um and i forgot to film this intro before i went so oops but this is gonna just be like a little update because some things have happened woohoo so um if you go back on my channel you'll see that i've done a state college vlog uh twice not the last two years but just twice and uh i was so excited to go again this year it's one of my favorite shows it's at the end of june and i tried to make a community post i don't think it actually posted i don't know and um we were gonna go for like a full week feather and i were gonna do the derby the egg and our like normal division that we're going for for points and it was gonna be great but then <laughs> like two weeks ago a week and a half ago feather tore her tendon in her back left leg so she was gonna get injected and they did like flexions on her to like make sure i guess and um they said she came up crippled lame which is just lovely and apparently they got it like really quickly and i don't know when it happened but like they said it was like fresh like it could have happened just that day or earlier so at least we caught it like immediately which is good so um safe to say uh, a torn tendon means we are not going to state college this year which is really sad and we are actually going to go to vermont in july and then virginia in august so i doubt any of that is happening anymore because she needs at least six weeks off anywhere from six weeks to six months <laughs> so we'll see what happens um, my trainer is pretty confident that it's not going to be six months only because we caught it so quickly. We're icing it like four times a day. We're beamering it. We're doing everything. We're wrapping it. Um, and they're all taking very good care of her and she's living her best life. Just like on stall rides, getting hand walked and grazed and stuff like that. Um, yeah, but my trainer thinks it'll be closer to like six or eight weeks, hopefully, which is good. Um, because if it was six months, that would literally be the end of our lease. Uh, because we're at like five months right now, because I started leasing her in February. So February, March, April, May, June, five months. So six months would almost be to the end of our lease. So I don't know what I would do at that point. I think I would really want to buy a horse, but then like that's me and my parents you know are my parents and they would probably say no but if she is off we would definitely like for six months we would get another horse of some sort whether that's a lease for a year or buying a horse so we'll see but hopefully hopefully it won't be but we also want to give her as much time as she needs and right now there's no other horses for me to ride at the barn which is frustrating. So I'm like horseless, which is great. Another update though, if you saw my last video, I got a new pair of tall boots and they were Ariads and I didn't want Ariads because they kept stabbing me in the back of the leg. Well, those new pair did the same thing. I thought maybe because it was like a different style, a different cut that maybe they wouldn't and they were also the only thing that they had there that wasn't like, 800 to a thousand dollars so i got those i rode it down a few times to where they like broke in kind of uh because the ariots do break in really nicely and very quickly um but they were still stabbing me so i just made a trip to dover and uh got some stuff and then i made a trip to maryland saddlery which has some like used boots and i was like okay i can like sell all of my other boots because I actually have three pairs of boots and um, maybe get some money to get a new pair of boots. Um, they said they wouldn't sell one of my pairs of boots because there's like a small tear in them and the other pair would sell for really cheap and I was like, um, okay, <laughs> I'll take them to another place where they'll sell them for more. 
but they had a brand new pair of De Niro's that I tried on fit really nicely and the fact that they just like had boots because I'm a size 10 shoe so it's really hard to find boots for me sometimes I'm a regular calf regular height but size 10 no one has that like in store so they had like De Niro's that were like Technically, it's not a size 10 because it's a European brand, but it was like a 41 or something that fit my foot, fit my calf, fit my my right calf because my left calf is bigger. So I actually got the pair of boots, but um, had to leave them there for the left one to be stretched out just a bit. And this lady said like, I'll like take measurements of your leg and then I'll like stretch it like slowly over the span of a week. And I was like, wow that sounds like magic because she was like i'll like get it wet and stretch it and it won't ruin the leather and i was like okay you know what i'll trust you because why not so i got those pair of boots i'm going back to get them in like a week because i just got them yesterday and she still has to stretch the left one but now i have a new pair of boots that don't stab me woohoo and i uh was able to return my ariots because i only rode in them like five times so they actually accepted them as a return and gave me a full refund. So I got my money back. Yay, we love a good deal because I was like, I could sell them because they're like brand new, but returning them gives me a full refund. So yay, those people at Dover were so, so nice. They're like, we don't usually do this, but we'll do it because we want what's the best fit for you. And I was like, thank you, I love you. <laughs> anyway now that I've like talked for probably a good like five to ten minutes I don't know um I'm gonna show you the clips of Feather I got her a little toy to put on her stall as well which I don't think I got a video of but she was really enjoying eating it out of my hand and then as soon as I hung it up in her stall she was no longer interested in it so let's hope she actually plays with it. <laughs> 